The success of neural networks has sparked the AI revolution in the last 10 years, from Atari games to Go to Dota and to StarCraft. What many people don't know, the basic idea of neural networks has been around since the late 1950s. Welcome to the origins of neural networks. In 1957, Rosenblatt invented the perceptrons, a type of neural network where binary neural units are connected via adjustable weights. He was inspired by the work of neuroscience in the 1940s, which led him to create a crude replication of the neurons in the brain. He tried many different layouts and learning algorithms. Computers at the time would have been too slow to run the perceptron, so Rosenblatt built a special purpose machine with adjustable resistors controlled by little motors. This really is a physical machine. When the neural networks learn, hundreds of little motors went on and turned little knobs to make adjustments. The apparatus was able to classify different images of shapes or letters. The New York Times reported the following on the perceptron. The Navy revealed the embryo of an electronic computer that it expects will be able to walk, talk, see, write, reproduce itself and be conscious of its existence. In the 1950s and 60s, scientists built a few working perceptrons, as these artificial brains were called. He's using it to explore the mysterious problem of how the brain learns. This perceptron is being trained to recognize the difference between males and females. It is something that all of us can do easily, but few of us can explain how. To get a computer to do this would involve working out many complex rules about faces and writing a computer program. But this perceptron was simply given lots and lots of examples, including some with unusual hairstyles. But when it comes to a beetle, the computer looks at facial features and hair outline and takes longer to learn what it's told by Dr. Taylor. Andrew Cruikshank's wig also causes a little heart searching. After training on lots of examples, it's given new faces it has never seen and is able to successfully distinguish male from female. It has learned. In 1969, the book Perceptrons was published. It was a harsh critique on Rosenblatt's perceptrons. It demonstrated that the perceptron sometimes failed even on extremely simple tasks like the EXO problem. At this time, they already knew that using multiple layers would be able to fix this problem. But there was no algorithm to train such a network at this time. It took 17 years until such an algorithm, now known as backpropagation, was devised. Only later on was it discovered that the backpropagation algorithm had been discovered before. Indeed, it turned out that the backpropagation algorithm had been invented before the book was even published. So now, 17 years later, with the invention of the backpropagation algorithm, which allowed neural networks to theoretically approximate any function, surely a breakthrough was about to happen. But neural networks just didn't really took off in a big way. Why? Find out in the rise of neural networks to be released next Friday. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it. A lot of time goes into content like this, so support on Patreon would be very much appreciated. Thank you.